This is the iPad Air Headphone Jack Repair Guide brought to you by Repairs Universe. The recommended tools to perform this repair are a heat gun or a hair dryer, a metal pry tool, guitar picks, a small Phillips screwdriver, a nylon spudger or a plastic pry tool, and we also find that using suction cups can come in handy when removing the large glass touchscreen. In order to replace a faulty headphone jack, we will first need to remove the glass touchscreen. To begin, take your heat gun or hair dryer and start applying heat to the outer edges of the screen in order to warm up and loosen the adhesive that secures the screen to the inner bezel. After you have loosened the adhesive enough, you will need to find an entry point to insert your pry tool underneath the glass to pry up the screen. You want to start on the left hand side of the iPad because the flex cables for the touchscreen are located at the right, and you may not want to damage them with your pry tool. Once you have found a good spot to get your pry tool underneath the glass, you can insert an additional pry tool or guitar picks to start releasing the adhesive that secures the screen to the inner bezel. You can use multiple guitar picks as shims to prevent the screen from setting back onto the adhesive, but also as leverage when prying up the screen. And you're going to want to keep your heat gun handy, as you will most likely need to reapply heat a few times to loosen more of the adhesive. You want to work your way along all sides, gently releasing the adhesive from the glass. One thing that you want to be very cautious of is not to insert your pry tool too far underneath the screen because you could easily damage the surface of the LCD. Once you have freed the left side of the screen, you'll need to repeat the steps for the bottom and top sides. Slide your pry tool along the edges and sides and insert additional guitar picks as necessary to keep the screen propped up from the adhesive. As mentioned before, you may need to reapply heat as necessary to help loosen up stubborn areas. Once you have pried up the top, left, and bottom sides of the screen, you can then use your heat gun to help you fold over the screen from the left side towards the right like a book. And you want to be very cautious not to tear the cables that are still connected to the motherboard for your glass touchscreen. Next we're going to remove the LCD screen. To do this, you'll need to remove four small Phillips screws located in all the corners of the LCD. Here circled in red, you will see the screw locations. Some of the screws may be covered with some of the factory adhesive, so you may have to do some poking around to find the screw location to remove it. As a reminder, all of these screws are the same size, so you won't have to worry about getting them mixed up. Just place them in a neat pile off to the side for reassembly. Next, you will need to lift up your LCD screen to expose the headphone jack flex cable. We find it best to disconnect your LCD screen from the motherboard because you can easily damage the surface of this screen and its flex cable when trying to work around it or keep it propped up. Here circled in red, you will see three small Phillips screws that you need to remove in order to disconnect the LCD screen from the motherboard. Be aware that the LCD flex cable is adhered to the underside of the silver shield. We find it easiest to take your nylon spudger or pry tool and pry from underneath the LCD flex cable in order to release the pop connection and the shield. Now we are ready to replace the headphone jack. Moving to the top of your iPad, you will see three small Phillips screws circled in red. Remove these three screws to lift out the long silver plate to expose the flex cable connection. 
As a reminder, you can purchase a replacement headphone jack for your iPad Air on our website at repairsuniverse.com. You will also receive a free plastic pry tool with your purchase. Click on the box below to order yours today. Next, remove the small Phillips screw circled in red that secures your headphone jack to the slot in the housing. If you find that you're having trouble removing a screw, you can use a pair of tweezers to help you remove it. Next, you will need to remove your front camera to expose the connection for the headphone jack. Use your pry tool to disconnect the pop connector for the front camera, then pry it out of the housing. Underneath that, you will see the pop connection for the headphone jack. Again, use your pry tool to disconnect the flex cable, then gently peel the flex cable away from the adhesive that is securing it to the inner housing. You may then slide out the headphone jack to replace it. Repeating the previous steps in reverse, insert your new headphone jack replacement into the slot of the housing. Lay the flex cable back down in the original spot and secure the connection by pressing gently on the socket until you feel it pop into place. Now reinstall your front facing camera by laying it down in its correct position, secure its flex cable connection, then reinstall the black spacer. Now you will want to secure your headphone jack by reinstalling the screw in the location circled in red. Next, reinstall the silver bracket by lining up the screw locations, then installing the three small Phillips screws in the locations circled in red. Now that we have replaced the headphone jack, the last thing to do is to install the LCD screen. The best thing to do is to take this silver bracket and line up the screw locations, then gently press on it until you feel the connection secure itself. Next, you want to reinstall the three small Phillips screws in the locations circled in red. Next, you are ready to lay your LCD screen back inside the inner housing. When doing this, make sure the screw locations line up properly. Then afterwards, take a microfiber cloth and wipe off any dust or fingerprints on your LCD screen. Next, you will need to install the four small Phillips screws in each corner of your LCD. You will see these screw locations circled in red. Finally, flip over your glass touchscreen and align it properly so it fits flush inside the bezel. Be careful not to touch the inside of the touchscreen or the LCD so you don't leave any fingerprints sealed underneath the glass. Press firmly on all edges to set the adhesive for a firm and long-lasting hold. Congratulations, you have successfully repaired your Apple iPad Air. Follow the links in the description below to find screen replacements, internal parts, and repair tools to fix your iPad Air at our website. If you found this video useful, please like it below. Also, subscribe to our channel for more repair tutorials. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for news, updates, and discounts at our online store. And remember, all of the parts and tools shown in this video can be purchased at www.repairsuniverse.com.